How is it going, guys? And welcome to Manor Lords, where today we're going to be going through and taking a first look at it here. Now, I'm going to be playing with some of the tutorials on, guys, but I have the gist to know what I'm doing for the most part. I got a pretty good map seed here, guys, just taking a little bit of a look around. I got myself some stone right down here that's a rich deposit, some wild animals up here. Not a rich deposit, but that's okay. And then also a clay deposit as well as some berries. My road looks like it's already lined up fairly fairly decent and the size of my territory here is not too bad so let's hop in guys and let's get to it so the first thing that i'm going to do right away guys is i'm going to choose out some land that i want to use for a forestry building and more or less where they're going to be going through and cutting down some logs so let's go through let's grab ourselves some road and I'm going to go and grab some road and pull it down this way. Now, one of my favorite things about the road in this game is that it kind of bends and contours around things that makes it, I don't know, it feels a little bit more natural when it comes to roads. Maybe natural is not the best way to say it, but I do really like it. Then what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm just going to kind of quickly pull off a little bit of road that's going to come down like this. Because I think I'm going to put my forestry building right down here. And then I think I'm just going to take a little bit of road oop, and uh, just kind of connect it up if I can. Something like that. That way we have kind of that natural looking... Uh, what do you call that? A T in the road, I guess? All right, very good. And then we're going to put the forestry building right down over here. So let's grab our logging camp. Got it. And I'm going to put that guy right there. And I'm going to wait for them to go through and build that up. Now, my oxen guy is way over here, so that's going to slow down. My hitching post is way over here, so that's going to slow down total the amount of time they're going to be spending grabbing wood. But I think that that's okay. I think I'm going to be all right with that. What I'm feeling here, guys, is like a hunting area over here where there's some wild animals. I'm feeling kind of in an industrial area over here where this stone is. Maybe because of this clay, we can start exporting some clay, possibly maybe some pottery in the future. You know, things like that. Do some trading that way. And then maybe residential like over in this open area that's over here. I know it's kind of far away from our our starting zone that we have over here. But I feel like it's not too bad of an idea. So let's go ahead and start getting some ideas for some roads down as well over here. So I'm going to start off here and I'm going to come out and then down again. And we're going to go down maybe. Uh, that's not a very good turn. I'm going to come out maybe like this. There we go. Let's do something like that. How does that look? That looks okay. It's not the best, but it looks okay. And then I'm going to actually, you know what I should do is I should do one that's a little bit wider. So let's do this. Let me, let me go ahead and hmm, let me do this. Let me go ahead and remove some roads out. Let's pull that out. And then I'm actually going to go and pull the residential road out a little bit further out maybe like down here so that way the curve kind of comes off a little bit more exaggerated there we go and then we're gonna do it's not exactly even that'll bug me a little bit later on but maybe i could put something in there maybe i don't know it's fine though let's work with it let's make it work i'm gonna take a road i'm gonna come off straight down like this Put a road in like that, and then I'm also going to take another road, and I'm just going to come back here, cover this one up like that. There we go. So now I have kind of like this corner of a road here. Maybe put a well over here, and some more housing that's down over here. Let's go ahead and, speaking of housing, let's get that put in. Grab our burridge, burgage, burgage pot, plot. Yeah, that's it. All right, cool. And then I like the way you actually build housing in this game by just clicking and dragging out. I'm going to go through and say maybe that I'm going to come down here by like that. And you know what? That looks pretty good. That's going to be four houses coming down this road. Um, I'm not super happy that. You know what? Let's do it like this instead. I'm going to come this way. Maybe something down here like this. We're going to do... How's that looking? That looks pretty decent. That's actually five houses. I'm going to go ahead and get that put in. That's going to take all five of our people from being homeless to having a place where they can call home. 
All right. So some other things I'm going to start needing in the future is going to be a well. So don't you know? Well, 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 we're going to put our well right there. I know that was lame. It was meant to be. All right. Prosperity awaits. So we're going to do our residential kind of down this side. And then off this way, we'll start doing some industrial stuff. We'll start doing some other stuff. Can I actually move this guy? Let me relocate this. I'm actually going to relocate this down this way. I kind of feel like that this should be... You know what? Let's take this hitching post and let's just go ahead and put it right there. I like that idea. I want to keep this area up here kind of opened up. All right. So we're going to need... We're going to start needing to think about food right away as well. So I'm going to go over here to gathering and I'm going to go right for a hunter's camp. Right? And I'm going to put that hunter's camp maybe right about... Let's say right there. I'm giving my people a lot to build, but we're going to hit fast forward here now. And we're going to let them get to work on everything that I'm asking them to build. Our logging camp will keep us with plenty of logs. Our hunter camp here will get us plenty of food. And our housing will get people out from sitting out in the rain when it starts raining and stuff like that. Look at that. Our hunting cabin's done. It looks like that some construction of our hitching post has been moved. That's great. All right, let's go through and let's get some people assigned. I'm going to go ahead and assign one person here to the hunting camp. You know what? Let's go ahead and get two. And then I'm also going to assign a working... Eh, you know what? Yeah, let's assign a working area. And I'm going to go through and assign it like up there. I think that that's a decent spot for a hunting camp right now. And once the logging camp's done, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to tell them that they can log like maybe this area out. I think that'll be decent. And, hmm, I just noticed we have a nice road that's coming down here as well. So we have a road up here and a road down here. So I think what I might do, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go through, I'm going to click and drag some road here if I can. If I could grab it for like up here. And I'm going to try to maybe bring it around these trees. Maybe. Go right, like right here wise and then we're going to connect up to that road there and then i'm also just going to quickly attach to that road right down there so that way i have my road connecting up here i have this nice side path that my village is going to be built on and then i could start expanding out possibly into this area now we've gone through we got our layout for our housing and some food and some sustainability with our logging camp. But I do want to start thinking about the future. So what we're going to look at now is I'm going to look at seeing what our fertilities are looking like here. Am I going to go emmer? Am I going to do flax, barley, rye? I'm going to start off with rye. Oh. I got some decent fertility up here for rye, I guess. I could do like a farm up here. Let's try barley. Oh, looks like nobody's getting any beer here. That's uh, that's a bummer, Batman. No beer for you. Ooh, I got an iron deposit up there that I didn't see. But no barley. What about flax? Flax, just as bad, honestly. It's it's not very good at all. And then emmer? Uh, emmer's kind of... It's better off for barley up in this area. And then underground water. I know I put my well down. But... Honestly, I'm not seeing a spot for underground water. Over here there is. No, that's a trade point. Hmm. Hmm. That's not the best. So we'll see what this well can produce, if it can produce anything at all. So it looks like we're going to be stuck with rye. If I clear out this forest, that's a decent spot, or I can make a little farming area up here, which is probably what I'm going to have to do. Huh. All right. So if I throw down that, I could throw down some barley or rye, rye. And then I take that rye, I'd throw it through a windmill to grind it up to flour. And then we'd get rye bread is what we'd end up getting. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Let's go through. Let's throw down our market. 
All right, let's grab our market. And I'm just going to throw down a quick market in this area here. That's not too bad, honestly. That's a decent plot. Now, these markets, they assign families will set up stalls automatically as long as there's enough space for them. Uh, and they're going to make sure that the supply and demand and everything's put together and the burgage plots the closest will have their needs fulfilled first, which is great because I have my burgage plots literally right next to it. I'm going to put down another road back here, put down some more burgage plots. I'm going to kind of do like a grid almost over here. Uh, so that way we have a decent amount of housing right over here. I may even attach this road that I have here up like this. Just get that connected as well. Our housing can go ahead and just link right up there. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's get this fast forward a little bit. This guy should come over here. They'll start working on this house. This person's going to start working on getting a stall. And there we go. They're going to start selling some meats there from the hunting stall. Which I think gives me meats and hides. Yes. You love to see it. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right. So. I also did myself a wee little favor here, guys, and I made it so each of my burgage plots has the ability to have a backyard extension on them. I did this right away in the beginning because I wanted to make sure that I could get things like uh, vegetable gardens and some chicken coops so that way I can get a couple different types of eggs in here and food, different food types. So. Let's go through. Let's grab a vegetable farm for you. You're going to have a veggie field in the backyard. You're going to have chicken coop, veggie field, chicken coop, and maybe we'll do some goat farms. I wouldn't mind having some goat farms over there, but we'll see. Now, how's the logging camp going? The logging camp looks good. I'm going to go through and I'm going to limit this work area here and I'm going to increase this work area and I'm going to say your work area is this zone there we go so we're gonna have them work that over there looks like that these guys are already starting to get to work on their house which is good and do i want to jump right away into getting a forager's hut as well if i grabbed a forager's hut and say put it down right across the road no let's do Let's do like right, right alongside the hunter's hut. There we go. So the hunting camp's there, the forager hut's there. And once that's built, I'm going to tell them to come over here and start working on these berries. The problem is, is that this is seasonal. So we need to get to this before the season runs out. All right, let's go through. Let's hit that fast forward again. Well, enjoy spring while we can. It's still just March, so it's nice. Now, who does not have... Who does not have a job lined up for them? I could put in... I'm going to put in two people working at the logging camp. That gives me... One person left? Two people left, maybe? Well, if somebody's working the hitching post... Right? I want to say somebody's going to stay working on that hitching post. Unassigned families needed. Okay, so let's go ahead and take that off. Unexposed stock is getting wet. Where are my supplies that are getting wet? Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, I did not think that through very good. I forgot to build... A storehouse so let's get a storehouse put in right across the road from the market you know what let's do a storehouse across the road from these I'm gonna put that storehouse in I'm actually gonna prioritize that so that way they get to work on that because I'd like them to get this the stuff put away people are suffering from disease you hate to see it. Hmm. I also need a granary. Wait, wait. 
Okay. Oh, are you selling meat finally? You are. That's wonderful. Construction finished on the storehouse. You love to see it. People are going to start moving the stuff in there, I believe. Yep, look at that. We already have some hides in there. That's great. That's great. The forager hut's done. Um, I'm going to go through and wait just a little bit. Ooh, adding an herb garden. I need two planks in order to do that. And some money. And right now, my money-wise is not the best. I got 85 coins left. Huh. Can we, can we get... There we go. We're getting, we're getting stuff damaged by the weather already because I didn't, uh... I didn't get that put away. Oh, no. Oh, no. Some of our stuff got damaged. Some of our supplies got damaged. I mean, it's... I'm worried about our stone tools and our bread. I'm not so worried about the firewood or the regular stone. And we're not close enough to winter yet to warrant me worrying about firewood yet. Once we get into, like, midsummer, I think, is when I'm going to start worrying about firewood. Okay, what do I got for wooden logs? Wooden logs right now, I got, what, seven in here? You'll love to see it. Let's go through and let's get... I'm going to get some more burgage plots put in really quick. Even though we haven't built the ones that we have yet. But these ones are going to be a little bit smaller. They're not going to have the farm. I'd like them to still have them. What do I got to do? Right there? Four of them will have an extension. Let's do that. Let's get four of them to have an extension. My supplies. Oh, my bread's getting wet. Oh, I don't have a granary. That's right. Let's get, uh, let's get a granary built. Here, slow time down. Slow time down a little bit. Let's see, where, oh, where are we? There we go. Logistics, granary. Uh, I'm going to put down the granary. Mm, other side of the storehouse. It's not too far from the people. They don't have to walk that far. So I think it'll be okay. Mm -mm -mm. Use this to set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. In my command. I need to keep that in mind. In my command. Not what I have, but in my command. Okay. Ooh, we're running out of wild animals over here. What are we hunting? Ah, some good old deer. You'll love to see it. Okay. Let's take you off of here. This family owns a market stall. That's, 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 that's good. That's... Good. I'm going to go through and pull them off. What were they selling? Firewood. Ow. Oh. Ow. Oh. Well, we'll get a we'll get a woodcutter here. I'm going to need some more people. That's with the thought of these burgage plots. In order to get more people, you have to have burgage plots ready to go and have an approval rating over 50. So, let's see here. Let's go through. I'm going to pull some people off here so they can build. I'm actually going to pull all my logging camp off. I'm still worried about food, so I'm I'm going to let the granary do its thing. Get built. Let's actually put that to high priority, and then let's fast forward some time here. So that way the granary gets built here. And they work on these burgage plots as well, so that way we can get some, some more housing and some more people in here. And just like that, we finally got a family member that joined. So now instead of only five workers, I have... Actually, I only had four workers, but now I have five. Okay, great. Settlement level increased. In Oh, that's the name. I forgot to name my settlement. Oops. <laughs> well, apparently uh, Ichenhau is the name of our settlement here. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and change that up. Uh... 
you know what? I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna I'm gonna hit up uh, hit up some good old Fallout lore. We're gonna name it Nuketown. That doesn't make any sense for a medieval village, but you know what? I am here for it. All right. So it looks like I have five families. I have three people who are currently unassigned to work, so I'm going to hit one person there, and I'm even going to hit somebody over in the forager's hut, so that way we can start getting that going. I'm going to come over to construction, and now we're going to start kicking some stuff off. I'm going to do... Let's do a woodcutter's lodge right away. I'm going to do the woodcutter's lodge kind of down in this area. Um, can I do... Maybe a road that comes out like this? I don't like the way that you're curving. There we go. Let's do, let's do that there. And then I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna grab a woodcutter's lodge and I'm gonna put them down there. Go. We still have some, our bread exposed, but we're gonna get that done. Burgage plot looks like it's done. I have no families living here yet. That's okay. That's all right. So, two people were homeless, so we had some down rating there. So we don't have anything that's affecting morale right now, but we are going to have to start seeing that increase. Let me get a person working here real fast. I got nine living spaces right now. I'm not worried about building this last burgage plot. Actually, all of them... Oh, this one's not done yet. But, that's okay. Stocks damaged by weather. Looks like we had we lost some bread again. That's okay. We do have some meat going in there now, so I'm going to leave that run in. I'm also going to see if we can get some more people in here. There we go. Look at that. Market food varieties going up. Nice. So in the marketplace, we're selling food variety, 94. 100%, nice. What do you got? Generic storage, nothing in there. A food market, what do you What do you got? Oh yeah, some berries, some eggs, some bread, some meat. That's a healthy diet. The only thing you're really missing is some vegetables, but we'll get there. We're gonna get there. Yes, 51%, nice. So that means we're going to start getting even more people moving in here. Maybe in one month. What do we got? Fuel for two months. I need to get a woodcutter off of here. I got 20 logs. That's enough for now. Uh, hunting camp. I'm actually going to pull one person off. Only going to leave one hunter for now. Burgage plot's done. They're going to come over here and get this woodcutter going. We are at the end of summer. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to get one person working the woodcutter's lodge so we can start getting some firewood. So that way nobody freezes to death. Okay. This is looking good. I got food for nine months. I only got fuel for two, but that's about to get adjusted. And as long as I can get fuel for three months. Ooh, it doubles in... Ooh. That's no good. But hey, look at I just got two more people that are unassigned. Okay. Okay. I like that. I do like that. Let's get somebody work in the storehouse, so that way we can put stuff in the storehouse. Then we have a couple builders. Do I still have rooms for more families? Hmm. Fuel stall supply. Hopefully that's going to get fixed here soon. This guy should... There he goes. Okay, so he's going to start selling fuel here. Did he take over this stall? He sure did. He sure did take over that stall. You love to see it, so that's going to make them happy. Sure did. And... Okay. Oh, yeah! I gotta come up here and do this! After you reach the next settlement level, you'll be able to unlock some stuff with some development points. So I got one development point here. I can do... Trapping? 
forest management, beekeeping, which would give me an apiary. Workers collect honey. Every region can sustain up to two apiaries by default. Uh, that's a good idea. Trade logistics, nah, foreign suppliers. A permanent market stall, which provides passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wealth. Region does not pay the transport fee, must be placed in the marketplace. Or I can get a food cart as well. Um, I could do sheep breeding, or I can go down and try to get orchardry. After orchardry, I'd get irrigation and rye cultivation. Oh. I can't even put down a farm field for rye right now. I didn't even realize that. Uh-oh. Wheat, flax, and barley. Looks like I'm going to have to go for the Elmer here. Alright, let's go through and let's start off with a little bit of a farm field over here. This is going to be kind of far away from... Kind of far away from our town. Alright, found houses employ flamings who work on fields. The workforce is issued properly in accordance to the field set priority level. This is really far away. Maybe I want to do like a, a, a road through the forest or something like that. Nice forest walk or something. But let's do wheat, I guess. We'll do crop rotation. We'll do follow. And then I guess wheat, maybe. Mm, I'm, I'm, I th I'm really thinking I'm really sticking to this idea of running. A nice road through this field or through this forest there we go that's a decent jaunt through the forest there that they can make the wild animals are over here so I'm not so much worried about them getting eaten by anything while they're walking and it's gonna start off with getting that stuff there now I do need some farm houses so if I take a farmhouse and I put it over here. This is going to make it so people can actually work said farm. Okay. I should look in here. And see where clay working comes in. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not sure. I think I can just kind of make the stuff, which is good. So let's do this. I think I'm going to go down. Trapping. So that way we can get that passive income of meat. I'm going to go through. I'm going to get trapping there. Nice. And I think that... These guys are automatically going to do it. I don't think I need to do anything. I'm going to do a hunting limit up to 14. That way there's still some. All right. Hey, we got even more settlers. Nice. So we have eight families out of the 10 houses that we have. We have firewood. Enough supply for seven months. Winter is almost here. It comes next month. And we're going to see these berries deposit the berry deposit pretty much be wiped clean. OK, I got an idea. I know what we're going to do. We are going to shoot to work on getting ourselves some more logistical things or when i say logistical i mean wood things get myself a saw pit so i can start getting some planks in 
And then after that, we're going to start working on seeing what we can do about getting some trade going. I want to start doing some trade so that way we could start getting some more money back. We need some more regional wealth. It's going to help us build up a little bit here. So I want to start uh, building up some more wealth because I have a whole whopping zero in my treasury. And I'd like to start seeing that built before I need to start building, you know, an army and all of that. So... For now, guys, I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching this one. If you guys liked it, make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, we got even more Manor Lords that's coming to the channel here very, very soon. So make sure you guys are keeping an eye out for that. But thank you guys so much. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.